Good evening everybody, it is Kelly. Um, uh, today I have come to share this with you. This is an altered letter J for a, a friend of mine, good friend of mine, um, that I have made friends with here on on YouTube. Um, and I have never seen anyone do this to an altered letter before. That's not to say that it hasn't been done, of course. It may well have been, it may just be that I haven't seen it. But it's something that I haven't seen done before. So I took a plain 8 inch papier mache letter um, and then what I did was I cut the whole entire front off of the letter. Uh, then I sort of ripped all that off and sanded all the edges back and I used the um, what I'd torn off it then to make little shelves to turn this into I suppose a shadow box printer's tray configuration type box. So I started by painting the whole entire thing with white gesso. Then, like I said, I made these shelves and or, or dividers, and I stuck those in. Then I covered the whole entire thing, as you can see here, in three or four different pieces of paper. And what I chose to do with this is I cut out little pieces of the paper to try and make it a sort of like a patchwork design. Um, and that goes right the way round, round the sides, round underneath. Um, the insides of the boxes, I lined each box with um, uh, either a specific or a, a couple of papers. And then I have one of the Prima stamps, which I have embossed. It's the small doily, just to give it a bit more sort of texture and something else to look at in a few places. So if I start at the top here, at the top here I have a bit of trim, which I have sprayed in a couple of colours to match the paper line, um, and this little bow. And then in this top compartment, I have the Prima light bulb, which says two. I have a dog food bowl, because my friend is a very big um, fan of dogs. Then we have a flower, a paper flower with its sort of sprig up here. And uh, then we have a little ribbon flower. And then behind that in there, we have one of the Prima clocks. And then that's all been distressed in there. Then in this compartment here, I have decided to stick like a, a window, it's a Crafty Emblies window to the front of that, which has been embossed in sort of a reddish brown window type colour. And behind that window in the box there, there is a piece of doily, green like fabric doily, and a little uh, cameo, but it's a sort of resin cameo with flowers rather than people. Then in, and um, we've got this little flower here, which I've sprayed and distressed. Then in this box here, down the side we have this um, trim, which is a Prima trim, which is like a tape measure, with a spool with um, some beads um, coming off and around and down through the scissors, which have also been embossed and painted. Um, we have a little vial, which has some of the beads in it. Um, we have a big uh, Crafty Emblies needle, and there's some trim actually also in the background there, and as you can see there's an E. So we've got two here. Obviously the whole thing is a J with an A down here, an N here, and an E in here. So, And then in this box here, uh, we have two um, paper flowers. We have a chess piece, which I've distressed. Behind there, there's a crown, which has been embossed and distressed. And then there's some cheesecloth running around underneath. Over to this side, I've done a, put a wing on here, and then that's all been distressed. In this box here, we have a couple of paper flowers. Um, two fabric doilies back there which have been sort of sprayed and distressed and a little crafty emblem frame which has an A which is a Prima chipboard piece in there uh, oh, and then in here there is some um, filigree pieces that have been coloured and then distressed then in this top box we have well here we have a crafty emblem very small distressed lovebird there is a metal clock in here there's a couple of flowers in here there's the um, scrabble piece which says N obviously there's another flower um, and then there's a flower resin in there as well and then towards the top of the J I have a butterfly which I've fussy cut from the paper line and another resin flower underneath so yes me uh, and my friend were making a little project for each other that was supposed to be sort of quite simple but also quite fun I had lots of fun with this and I hope she likes it or will be winging its way off to her soon thank you bye ladies Thank you.